more brilliant people who get out of HOV in the both direction and a two-mile extension of truck lane. The project is expected to be completed in 2026, with a full trailer family. President Biden says more <laughs> Americans are heading back to work. Mama. In the first three and four months of my administration, the economy saved six million jobs. A record for a new president. Biden says unemployment fell to 4.2%. The job is rated to 4.6% in October. Biden says the U.S. economy is in much better shape than it was a year ago. And you probably just noticed it in that time by the way that Biden. But the White House says President Biden is not sick. Recently, Biden has had a healthy voice while speaking at press conferences. The president is almost tested. Uh, as we said, it's very important to have a healthy voice. And it's very from the doctor, where he received a response quickly from that test. Enabling him, enabling him to succeed. White House Press Secretary Jen Sokma says Biden's position about the panel of Congress says the President has some increased major suggestions no, and he's the well-known flag in one stroke. He said the well, President has some well, increased major suggestions and he's talking about including for COVID, but the Congress said the results were negative and Biden was taking an over-the-counter COVID medication. And an update on the parents of the accused Michigan shooter, bond for them has been set at half a million dollars to vote. Going back to your deadly crash on the 15th. There's a story of South Carolina's out of the first season. Lee's been all the way from South Carolina here for a fatal crash investigation for several hours from our second game, all the way back to Bear Valley Road. He was in a Bear Valley head over to Highway 395 and said, On the north side of the first season, on West Austin, 138, we've had multiple crashes here at Tuesday, but clearly one. Another one occurs not so much fog in that. No real fog in the area at this hour. But watch out for a lot of activity there. Two right lanes currently taken away. Your back is all the way to Kenwood. And in today, it's on the northbound side of the five at Templin Highway, just before Templin. It's a big great crash and fire being cleaned up here in the two right lanes. Back of the Lake Hughes Road, KFI on the side. Helps get you there faster. On from the Bucky. Three years ago, a neighbor of my daughter's went completely squirrely. And she and I were genuinely fighting for her safety. So I bought her a Taser, the perfect non-lethal defense device. Taser smart self-protection can stop threats before, during, and after you pull the trigger. Taser is designed for home defense, your daily commute, and everywhere in between. She wanted to feel safe. I wanted to feel safe about her. This is really about stopping the bad guys before you're in real physical danger. Get Taser Pulse Plus today. Say 15% at Taser.com, enter the promo code Bill Handle, that's spelled T-A-S-E-R, Taser.com, promo code Bill Handle, say 15% at Taser.com, promo code Bill Handle, supplies are limited, restrictions apply, see the site for details. Taser.com, promo code Bill Handle. Southland weather from KFI. There's a dense fog alert in inland Orange County and parts of the IE until 9 o'clock this morning. Visibility is going to be pretty limited. Sunny this afternoon after the fog and clouds burn away. Upper 50s to mid 60s at the beaches. Mid to upper 60s in Metro LA and OC. Mid 60s to low 70s in the inland valleys and upper 60s to mid 70s in the inland empire. Right now it's 52 degrees in Brea, 52 in San Clemente, 54 in Culver City, and 54 in Inglewood. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Berumen.
AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. You are listening to Home. I'm Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, custom home builder, custom home designer. Here with you live like I am every weekend, Saturdays from 6 to 8. Sundays, that is just an adorable kid. Sundays from 9 to 11. There you go. Welcome. Welcome to the second hour of our fine program. What are we all about? I'm here to help. That's what we're about. I'm here to be an advocate for you as you wrestle with construction issues on your home. A design mentor for you because when it comes to transforming that place, design matters most. And uh, to just be a friendly voice, helping you build yourself a more beautiful home, hopefully a more beautiful life. And to do it more affordably and more artfully than uh, you ever imagined. We're talking job site safety and setup today. Not a topic that you find uh, a lot of places. That's because it's so boring, Dean. No, it's not. No, it's not. Come on. Uh, if you are actually uh, engaging in any project of uh, size, of scope whatsoever, it is actually one of the most important conversations to have. It's just not glitzy and glamorous, that's all. Uh, but when it gets right down to it, the brass tacks of it were, where the rubber meets the road, uh, how the job site is actually set up is far more important than most people uh, could ever imagine because it's the daily in and out, the daily grind of, uh, of the work proceeding. If a job site is kind of just slovenly, randomly thrown together, uh, it, it affects everything. It affects the quality of work. It affects the attitude of the workers. It affects your attitude on the job site on a daily basis. Uh, it affects your ability, actually, uh, to monitor the quality of what's happening on your job site. If it's always under a half an inch of dirt and dust and rubble, and you actually can't see clearly uh, how things are being put together. So all of this, yeah, I am a clean freak as a general contractor. Always have been, always will be. I push uh, our builders as much as I can uh, when they're not directly under my you know, authority. Uh, is I'm, most of the time I'm on a job site now as a designer and a construction advisor. So. I, you know, I'm not the boss guy who's uh, able to walk in and say, you're going to get this resolved right now or you're out of here, uh, which I would never hesitate to say in the past. Uh, I'm that guy. I'm the guy who uh, keeps all the ducks in a row because I know uh, the business of general contracting is much more than just getting the stuff into the walls and getting the house built. It's also the process that you send the owners through, homeowners through. Uh, it's the process of interacting with the city and uh, people just walking on the site. So anyway, <clears throat> to say all that is to say this is an important topic and that's why I wanted to address it with you some. Let's just talk about uh, site security uh, in, for a couple of minutes, shall we? If we were to start with a, a, a new home build, an empty lot, okay, let me tell you what would happen on day one. Uh, we've got a completely empty, bare lot, and we're going to build a uh, home. Long before any uh, anybody shows up to actually start doing work, uh, the very first thing that I sit down and do is I'm going to order all of the temp services. Temp services. What does that mean? Fencing. Chain link fencing around the entire site with uh, you know, good condition chain link gates. Uh, that chain link may have uh, privacy vinyl uh, on it or it may not, depending on the needs of the community and or the needs of the job site. Uh, a lockbox or a storage bin will be delivered, either in the street, if that is allowed, or on the project site, so that the tools, equipment, uh, materials of uh, value are securely locked away and stored where they cannot be ravaged and uh, gotten into. Temporary power from the power company. A temporary power pole will be installed with a temporary panel on it. And from that power pole, uh, we will have the contractor run what we call a spider box, which is a 220 connection to the power pole running out into the center of uh, where the job site area is. And a spider box is just basically, think of it like, you know, the power strip that, you've, uh, that you use for your electronics or your computer. The spider box is just an industrial version of that that everybody on the job site can plug their 
extension cords into, and there's all sorts of breakers and circuits separated in there so that people aren't blowing uh, breakers with all of that. So, uh, and, of course, uh, uh, also the uh, job site porta potty will also show. This is before anything happens. Fencing, security, uh, uh, toilet facilities, and uh, uh, electrical power for the entire job site. Now, that's a brand new house build. That's day one before the contractors ever show up. Imagine your project in terms of that kind of layout. The question is, does your project need fencing around the front of it, uh, even if it's just your home? If there's a significant enough remodel going on, perhaps it does. Uh, number two, where are the workers going to relieve themselves? Uh, in other words, have we allocated a, a bathroom, an existing bathroom in the house that they're going to be able to use throughout the day, that they're not, you know, traipsing in and tracking in job site dust and dirt and debris back and forth uh, in order to get to it? Or would a portable toilet situation be of uh, greater value to everyone? Uh, number three, power supplies. Now, if it's, an, if it's a remodel, if you're staying in the house or there's already power to the house, uh, if there are residents remaining in the house, but there's a large section of the house that's being worked on, you may or may not want to be tapping into existing house circuits uh, because those circuits can be blown very easily with the kind of equipment that's uh, being operated to build the house. You may want to set up a spider box situation just out of your own panel. The electrician comes in, puts in a, uh, a distribution box uh, outlet, and then a spider box can be run from that that all the workers can use. Don't plug your stuff into the house outlet. That kind of scenario. You get in the drift of uh, where I'm going with all of this. This stuff is important. Really important. Site security for tools. Where's the contractor going to store their stuff? Are they taking it home every day? Are they putting it into their own trucks? Uh, or are they going to be, uh, is it stuff going to be laying out into the backyard that you've got to you know, trip over and deal with? Uh, are they asking you to store their tools in your garage? Generally speaking, not a good idea because, uh, you know, there are, we've lost thousands of dollars of tools uh, off of a couple of job sites uh, that where tools were stored in a garage and, you know, tool thieves who, you know, they, 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 they move back and forth through neighborhoods just looking for job sites to steal stuff off of. Uh, the problem with that is not only is the garage not secure enough, but they're probably going to destroy or damage the garage door to get to it. So I recommend lockable toolboxes or bins that are secure and so forth. Okay, you get that sense. Uh, when we come back, why don't we move from that to uh, site uh, security. In other words, uh, site safety. Surfaces in your job site, surface protection, dust containment, that kind of a thing. Uh, the thing that I think homeowners probably struggle with the most when it comes to just walking through their job site. We will do that and more when we return. Your home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, Brian Baroon has the news. judge has denied a request by some L.A. firefighters to temporarily block enforcement of a vaccine mandate for city employees. A House committee has delayed a deposition with the former Trump administration Justice Department official because of what it calls a medical condition he has. And the first week of six expected weeks in the trial of Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend, Jelaine Maxwell, has wrapped up. We'll have a look at continuing troubles on the 15th next. All right, it is no secret, as a designer and a builder, when my clients need solar, I am going to call in Sunlux. Uh, I do that because Sunlux does not waste my time or theirs with useless promos or gimmicks or high-pressure sales. They simply do the best solar design in town. They use only cutting-edge equipment like LG panels and Tesla Powerwall batteries, and they have the best service. And to prove it all, they have, hands down, the best warranty in the entire solar industry. Other companies sound very confident in their solar, of course they do, but ask them what they're going to do if the system doesn't always produce the amount of energy it's designed to. This is a 20-year plus system, right? So here's what Sunlux will do. They will pay the difference in your electric bill. Boom. 
uh, car companies don't do that. If the mileage rating doesn't uh, live up to expectations, does it? No, they will not do that for you. Sunlux will. It's why I always say there are only two kinds of solar companies in Southern California. Sunlux and everyone else. So, get solar. Start saving money today and do it at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. CSLB 100 and the problems continue on the 15. In the Cajon Pass, northbound side of the 15, past the 138, we've got a series of crashes here. Currently, two right lanes are taken away. You're back up all the way to Kenwood on the southbound side of the 15 freeway. Some good news, finally, just past Main Street. We've had all lanes shut down here as well due to a fatal crash investigation. They've reopened a couple of lanes. Left lane remains shut down. You're back up to Bear Valley Road. And in Castaic on the northbound side of the 5 at Templin Highway. It's a crash here. Scene of a big rig fire and crash has two right lanes blocked. Back up to Lake Hughes Road. New problem in the Sepulveda Pass northbound 405 just past Getty Center. Crash in the carpool and left lane causing delay starting in Moraga. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. This report is sponsored by Discover. Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year. It's amazing because Discover is accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report limitations apply. This report is sponsored by Discover. What's all the buzz about nasal irrigation and navage, navage, navage? And should I try it? Here's the science. Airborne germs invade through your nose. It's the body's air filter for trapping allergens and viruses. When your nose gets clogged, it's less effective and germs multiply. Eventually, your immune system can get overwhelmed and you get sick. Nasal irrigation is an effective, all-natural way to clean your nose. It's not a drug. It's more like plumbing. Saline goes in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, flushing out mucus and germs. I'm Martin Hoke, and I invented Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. It's the world's only nose cleaner with powered suction. Navage pulls out the bad stuff so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier. At Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Bed Bath, and Walmart. Or go to Navage.com for a free gift with purchase. Over 2 million sold. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. No one tries to be unsafe online, but during the holidays, when you give up info and privacy, you may give up safety, too. Accept cookies to get holiday cookies? Oh, okay! Norton 360 with LifeLock helps keep your digital world merry and bright with device security, a VPN for privacy, identity theft protection, and more. No one can prevent all identity theft, but everyone can opt in to cyber safety. Visit Norton.com slash join and save 25% or more off your first year of Norton 360 with LifeLock. Our regular part of life here in California, we had uh, uh, some serious brownouts, intentional brownouts, the day before Thanksgiving out here where we live. Oh, my God. Talk about people being upset. As disruptive as they are, they're not just inconvenient. A loss of power to your home can threaten your health, your safety. A loss of power to your business means loss of revenue. None of us need any more of that. So whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, a blackout for a problem, the solution is Duffy Power. Duffy is Southern California's emergency power expert. They're going to give you a backup generator for your home or for your business. Their reputation comes from keeping Southern California business operations running through every kind of emergency, planned outage, etc. They're there 24-7, 365 with uh, repairs, emergency rentals, unrivaled commercial maintenance services, all of it to guarantee the power is going to be there where you need it. Uh, power outages are here to stay, but fortunately, so is Duffy. To protect your home or your business from the next power outage and all the ones after that, go to DuffyPower.com, DuffyPower.com. Whether you're vaccinated or not, it's important to know the symptoms of COVID and its variants. Fever is the leading sign of COVID and the flu, so make sure you use an accurate thermometer. Only the Exogen Temporal Scanner Thermometer has been proven accurate with more than 100 clinical studies. Non-contact thermometers have no clinical evidence behind them, and you cannot rely on them. Be vigilant and seek medical advice at the first sign of fever. Learn more at exergen.com. We've lost so many people to COVID. So many moms and dads, favorite uncles, older sisters. 
and best friends. But vaccines can help prevent serious illness and death from COVID in more than 9 out of 10 cases. So now almost all COVID deaths are preventable, and so are the broken hearts they leave behind. We can do this. Find COVID vaccines near you at vaccines.gov. That's vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed rate at 1.875%. Yes, 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run. Call now and save big on your refi. 800-501-HIT. 800-500-1412. The pandemic is forging important changes across health and science. On Breakthrough, a new series from the PubNurses podcast, we look at the medical mysteries and the opportunities COVID is leaving in its wake. From the new condition doctors are trying to understand and treat, the how mRNA technology promises to revolutionize the fight against diseases like cancer and multiple sclerosis. Listen to Prognosis Breakthrough on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. There you go. Mimosas are finally on the menu at iHeart. Oh, yeah. Are you a mimosa girl? The bottom is mimosa brunch. My favorite. Oh, the bottom the is the part key, right? The bottom yeah. is the food. It's usually with crap champagne at that point, but what does it matter? The Fork Report with Neil Saavedra this afternoon at 2 on KFI AM 640. More You listen to this when you work out in the morning? The gym has boot camp. Tina's is like, this is a staple. <laughs> I feel like I'm working out. Well, don't start working out. Don't start working out. I study in the morning. You might tempt me to start working out. <laughs> it's not the time, Tina. It's not the time. All right. I am so glad you joined us this morning. Uh, you are home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Uh, you know, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to go back to the phones. Let me give you our number out again. Uh, 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833-2-ASK-DEAN. Uh, a couple more minutes on uh, some job site safety and setup. Where was I at? Where, where, where? Oh, uh, internal stuff. Here's the kind of stuff that you should be looking for to protect the job site uh, as it is being uh, put together, as your project's being put together. Surface protection, very, very, very important. Okay? What does he mean by surface protection? What does he mean? Here's what he means. Uh, I mean, uh, you've just laid down uh, brand new tile floors or brand new hardwood floors, but work continues. What are we going to do? Trapes in and out all around on top of all that new stuff? No. No. Uh, we're going to lay down some RAM board. R-A-M, just like it sounds, board. Uh, it is, and not rosin paper, not uh, not that uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, rust-colored, butcher papery kind of stuff. That used to be the standard for what we would do quite often. Here's what we find out. Sometimes it trans transitions its color, it transfers its color. It also is just too thin, okay? Uh, it's the 21st century. We use RAM board. Demand it uh, from your general contractor, at least along heavily uh, walked pathways. RAM board is, uh, is a thick cardboard material that's designed specifically for laying down to protect floors that have just gone in, or maybe your existing stuff. Maybe somebody has to trace through a part of your house that's not being worked on in order to get to the area of the remodel. RAM board. Just look it up. You'll see what I'm saying. 
You can find it on the shelf at the big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot or your local hardware or your lumber store. It comes in rolls. You cut it. You tape it down. Ram board. Ba bum um, that sounded like a Ramboard commercial. Uh, there are other products out there, but Ramboard is it's kind of like Kleenex, you know, it's, it's, it's such a dominant brand that we just all say Ramboard. Okay. Plastic seating is a kind of a no-brainer for things that need uh, protecting around. A lot of tape, a lot of masking tape, blue masking tape, so that it doesn't leave marks on walls when it comes down. Dust is an issue. Uh, you know what, dust just needs an entire segment unto itself because people don't know how to deal with dust. So I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to go to break. When we return, I'm going to take a call or two, and then I'm going to talk about your dusty job site and how to get that sucker under control. Deal? All right, you're home with Dean Sharp, the House Whisperer. Your call's up next. Brian Baroon again. The parents of the school shooter in Michigan have pleaded not guilty to all charges. James and Jennifer Crumbly's attorney, Shannon Smith, says her clients should have been given a lower bail. The judge did not agree, and bail was set at $500,000 each. Our clients are going to fight these charges. Our clients are just as devastated as everyone else. Um, bond has to come from a place of legal soundness, not emotional reaction, which has driven this entire case. The judge said if the parents post bail, they would also be required to wear a tracking device and turn over any other guns in their house. The parents were charged with involuntary manslaughter. A police officer in Texas has been shot and killed. While investigating the disturbance, the male suspect produced a firearm. There was an exchange of gunfire between suspects and one of my officers. The officer was struck two times. The state police chief, David Gill, says the officer's death was a senseless act of violence. The cop had been working for more than 20 years. He was shot yesterday in a parking lot. The shooter was hurt and has been arrested. More than 46,000 fentanyl pills have been seized during a drug bust on Skid Row. The DEA's Michael Davis says cartels are specifically targeting the homeless and other vulnerable people. During this two-year investigation, we uh, seized five kilograms of cocaine, over 800 pounds of methamphetamine, five pounds of heroin, one kilogram of fentanyl powder. Davis says the fentanyl powder is used to make the counterfeit pills. He says the operation started small and quickly grew as they found more drugs and more drug dealers. He says they also seized six weapons. Steve Gregory, kind of I know. President Biden says his national security team is creating a series of comprehensive initiatives to try and discourage Russia from invading Ukraine. I have been in constant contact with our allies in Europe and Ukraine. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has warned Russia of severe consequences if it initiates military action against Ukraine. We're looking at a crash on the 405. In this moment of pass on the northbound side of the 405, just past Getty Center. Crash here in the carpool and left lane. It's got you jammed back to more rocket drive. Southbound side of the 405, seeing a bit of a looky loose lookout as well as you approach the scene. Kasaic on the northbound side at Templin Highway. We've got a crash being cleaned up in the two right lanes. Big rig involved here was on fire briefly, but that's got you back into Lake Hughes Road. And in the home pass northbound side of the 15 freeway, just past the 138, still have two right lanes blocked. We've had a series of crashes in that spot this morning, back up all the way to Kenwood Avenue. Southbound side of the 15 past the main street. The left lane remains shut down for a fatal crash investigation. Slow drive through Bear Valley Road. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. Bucky. All right, you're ready to build your new dream kitchen. What is your first move? I think it should be a totally free in show and pop salt at the kitchen store. It means you're going to get two things that you need desperately right out of the gate. You're going to get the creativity and the wisdom of an expert kitchen designer. And you're going to get that while you're being flooded with inspiration in the kitchen store 7,000 square foot cabinet design. The largest cabinet design showroom in all of Southern California. The kitchen store is right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, it is the best place for kitchen cabinets in all of SoCal. They have state-of-the-art computer design. Same as cash financing. No payments, no interest for a full year and price will pricing that will beat the big boxes so no excuses start your new kitchen right set up your free consult today by dialing 310 kitchen that's 310 kitchen and check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com 
Stuff my brother from KFI, upper 60s to mid 60s at the beaches after the fog goes away, that is. Mid to upper 60s in Metro LA and OC and mostly sunny. Mid 60s to low 70s in the Inland Valley, upper 60s to mid 70s in the Inland Valley. local live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Brian Bruman. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. Hi, I'm Inc. Magazine best-selling author Brett Cushion, and I want to give you a free copy of my brand new book, Wealth Down on Wall Street, because we all know another market crash could be right around the corner. After losing 35% of my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough, and since then I discovered a way to grow money potentially double digits, reduce taxes dramatically, and also have my money protected when the next stock market crash hits. When the next market crash hits, you lose nothing. Call Wealth Down on Wall Street now to get your free copy and talk with a specialist to discover this little known strategy to get potential double digit growth during good years and never lose in the next stock market crash hit. All while building a tax advantage retirement. Call 800 908 1616 to discover this asset that people like Walt Disney and JC Penny use to grow wealthy. Plus, get one of his 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling, no credit card required. Call 800 908 1616. That's 800 908 1616. 1 800 908 1616. You know you work hard. Yes, 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 yes. You also know one must plan for the twists and turns ahead. The children grow new. And the right, okay. And the joys of retirement. There's something else that you can know. You're not alone. You have a so lot of money partner in Edelman Financial Entity to work with you every step of the way. Whether it's personalized advice or a modeling of over 38,000 investments right, monthly right, right. to keep you current and focused. It also helps to know that we use a cost-effective, integrated approach to our training, from past optimized portfolios to life-focused advice for retirement and the possibilities ahead. If you're asking, what more can I do to take my wealth potential to the next level, call the schedule of training no obligation meeting with an Edelman Financial Engines Advisor who knows what that takes. Call 833-PLAN-EFE or visit planefe.com today. KFI, Smart and Final, and Barilla are tuning up to this year's Pasta Thon. Donate right now at any Smart and Final location. Details at pastathon.com. KFI AM supporting. More stimulating talk. for joining us this morning. It is a cool, uh, misty, I think, everywhere. I yes, think, here. Yes, cool, yes. A very uh, misty uh, Saturday morning. It's the kind of Saturday morning I like in December. Weather. Weather. Southern California, weather. Weather is nice. It will change your pace. Uh, it's going to be a good day. Also, we're celebrating our son's birthday today, so it's going to be a good day. And also, we're going to the Calabasas. Are we still going to the farmer's market this morning? Good. Yes. We are? Yeah. Good. All right. Good. 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 Looking forward to it. I'm going to get some golden berries or beef berries. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same thing. We're going to figure it out. But whatever those things are, they're going in a pie. That's all I'm saying. That stuff is going in a pie. As soon as I figure out exactly what it is. Whether a golden berry and a beef berry, or just, they're called cake these days, but I'm not sure they're actual beef <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. If you know, if someone knows the difference between a golden berry and uh, a, a gooseberry, uh, please alert us. Uh, please let us know right away. All right. That's process. We should go to the phone then for another question about home other than pies, right? Uh, let's talk to Nancy. Nancy, welcome home. Hi. Um, I'm... 
trying to reduce the heat in my living room. I have three bay windows that face the sun, and the sun comes pouring in on those hot summer afternoons. Oh, um, even with the air conditioning on, uh, the room is probably about 10 degrees hotter than the rest of the house. So I was looking at investing in some room vacuuming honeycomb shades with soil cells, which are advertised to try to keep the heat out by vacuuming the room. And I was wondering if that was a smart thing to do, or would it be smarter to just look into replacing the windows? Okay, well, uh, so how... When you say three bay windows, we're talking about three windows in a bay, right? As opposed to three separate bay window setups? Yeah, three windows in a okay. bay. Okay. I'm here. Okay, so we have a bay. You get a bay Everyone window ready? set up, and yeah, you're yeah. talking about the three windows in that uh, in that window uh, bay. Ready? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How old are these windows, and what kind of windows are they? Okay, well, we've been in our house for 20 years, and the uh, house was built in the early 70s. So I don't know, you know, how old the windows are. I know they did the windows have been replaced throughout the house. Um, maybe they're 25 years old. Okay, all right. Yeah, so, uh, they're, they're, so you're saying that they're at least... 20, 25 years old, at least, yeah. Yeah. if not, if yeah. not long. Are they vinyl windows? Are they wood? Are they aluminum? Yeah, the, um, oh, vinyl. this is the best thing. The best thing. Oh, this is the best thing. Oh, this is the best thing. They're vinyl. Okay, the reason I'm asking all these annoying questions is because I'm trying to get a sense of what kind of uh, UV uh, protection these windows have, you know, innately built into them. If uh, yeah. we're talking about a vinyl, if we're talking about a vinyl yeah. window, uh, then uh, then we're very likely talking about a window wow. that was made during the time of uh, low E. Uh, window glazing. Lowy 1, uh, if it's uh, 25 years old, uh, the very first Lowy product uh, line that, that came out there, I believe. I, I think Lowy, I don't think Lowy 2 has come out. Um, so there's already metallic coating on the, the window. Uh, it is not as good as uh, what uh, the uh, metallic coatings that are currently being manufactured for current windows. Uh, not as good as far as it's not as uh, heat and the UV filtering as uh, a brand new window. But the thing that I, that's got me like rubbing my chin here is whether or not that's going to be significantly that big of a difference for you. Because uh, okay. if you're if you're concerned about uh, southern sunlight blasting in through these windows. Uh, and we go to all of the expense, and there's no question that getting blinds for the windows are going to be is going to be less expensive than replacing the window. So the thing that I'm wondering is that if you've already got low E coated vinyl windows, now it's not low E two, but it's low E still. There's still some built filtration built into the window. If you've already got that, and you're still experiencing too much heat uh, as a result of light infiltration into the room, then uh, I recommend. my tendency Andy, is to think that uh, you probably should head towards the, why don't you just keep the windows in place, they're dual glaze, they're doing their job, and, uh, and get some room darkening or some light filtering uh, straight uh, in order to cool things off. And let me be really clear about this. Light uh, and infrared heat are two very different things. You don't have to resort to absolute room darkening blinds, in other words, blackout blinds, uh, in order to uh, filter out a lot of, of infrared. And infrared that's your concern at this point. UV light is going to come in, and that could, that, you know, you, the danger of UV light inside the house is that it can bleach out hardwood floors and it can bleach out furniture color and that kind of stuff. UV light does not create heat inside the house. It's infrared, the infrared spectrum that's coming through. Um, and there are, uh, there are like honeycomb blinds with uh, 
foil, interior foil uh, channels that uh, will black out a room and reflect out uh, infrared. But there are also some blinds out there that will do a good job of knocking out a lot of infrared but still let light through. In other words, uh, translucent uh, shades that will not totally darken the room. My concern is that in the middle of a summer day, you've got a house and, uh, and a bay window with light coming through it and a beautiful bright room. And the only way that you can keep the, you know, the heat in tow is to ruin the, the brightness and the overall pleasantness of the room by making it a cave. So I would have a serious talk with uh, a blind or shade company, do some research online, do more research than just the honeycombs with the foil inside, and uh, see what you can find in regards to infrared blocking or infrared reducing. We don't have to take it all away. Infrared reducing... Uh, shades or blinds that will still preserve the integrity of the room. It's easy to make a room cool. You can just completely throw a blanket over the whole thing and make it utterly dark. But that isn't a room that you want to live in. Super so Mario let's see if we can uh, straddle the fence a little Super bit Mario and bridge the gap presents. between the two without Mario completely blocking out the room. Nancy, thank you for your Super call. Mario Good GBT luck with that. But, uh, yeah, I would probably... Not replace the windows and deal with uh, the shades themselves. Okay, when we return, a few more comments on dust. Keep the dust in the project uh, under control. I'll give you some tips that maybe, well, probably you have not heard yet. You are fun. So if you reach out to House Whisper, Brian Dorman. Discover Ghirardelli chocolate chips. Well, Germany is canceled since 2005. Angela Merkel has used her final weekly video message to urge the country's people to get vaccinated. Pope Francis has said in a speech in Greece that the easy answers of authoritarianism threaten democracy in Europe without specifying any countries in particular, and the other city council has approved the financial framework and roadmap for the 2020 Olympic Games taking place here in the city. And we'll have a look at some trouble on the 15th. Yes. I want you to uh, experience Christmas like never before at Alabama.